Joe Beermaster here. Today we have a 2017 Ford Explorer. This goes from 2011 and up, the new style, very nice. Today I'm going to show you where the fuse box locations are. Very simple, very quick. There are two. The first one is located under the hood. You open the hood on the driver's side. You'll see this little panel here. It's usually next to the battery. See that little emblem there, embossed there? That's a fuse. So you're going to lift under here. Pull up. Sometimes it's tougher to get off. Sometimes it's easy. So there's your first power center. And if you look under the lid, there's a little template that shows you the number of the fuse, but it does not tell you what the fuse is for. So you're going to need the owner's manual to look at it to see what fuse is for what. There are some relays. The black ones are relays. And let's see what else is under here. Just fuses and relays. Some of them might be spare ones, but for example, if you look at your owner's manual and it says that fuse number 71 is for the wipers, let's just say the wipers aren't working. Then you look at this chart here and it shows you where 71 is and you match it up to the fuse box. Kind of self-explanatory and tells you what one is that fuse, which one it is. All right, so we're going to put that together. And the second fuse box is located inside the driver's side. And there is the steering wheel. And now we're going to go up under the dash. So to get to the interior fuse box, it is located underneath here. That's the brake pedal. And if you look way up in there, you're going to see it. See it way back in there? That's very, very difficult to get to. So what we want to do is take some trim down to access it. As you can see, there's a little cover here, a little trim access cover. And you want to get that down. And it looks like there are some clips or bolts holding that on. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. Let's see that wants to come down. It's a little seven millimeter right here. Another one over there. There might be another one buried up here. So let's get a better look. So once you get them sevens out of there, that trim panel will come down and you'll have easy access to the fuse box. So that's a tough one to get to. And again, the OBD2 port is right there right below the hood latch so I hope this helped you find the locations lighting's not so good but it gives you a good idea of where it's at and how to access it Joe Beermaster thanks for watching please subscribe if you like my videos and give me a thumbs up take care